iSpaces is an open source AJAX extension for Java server releases. It's really the easiest way to develop AJAX applications in any framework, and I think in, in any language. With GSF, you have the declarative view, and the procedural model, and your Java beans, and then you have expression language binding those two together. And that design allows you to separate de designer and developer roles really cleanly. Uh, JSF 2.0 is really a significant upgrade over JSF 1.2. Probably the, the main benefits are with the composite components, which are now easily built, with facelets. Facelets is built into JSF 2.0, and the fact that the system is more efficient now because of partial state saving. Partial state saving allows you to have a lot more compact representation of the component tree on the server between requests. IceFaces 2.0 and JSF 2.0, obviously uh, we're looking at a, a, a new generation architecture. Key things for us uh, with JSF 2.0 were that uh, in, the, in the 1.x specification, there was really no, um, there was no AJAX in it at all. So we had to bend the rules around how AJAX was done a lot in, in, uh, in the 1.8 framework and earlier. Um, to accommodate the uh, the types of rich internet stuff that we want to be able to deliver. Other things that uh, that are important is that uh, the facelift specification is now a first class citizen of of the JSF spec. So uh, so that's good, and and a lot of a lot of work has gone into templating and uh, and composite component uh, considerations in the spec. So that'll make it easier for us to develop the framework and our component suite. It'll make it easier for JSF users in general to, uh, to be more effective with the framework. iSoft has participated in the JSF2 expert group. I've been involved in that since the beginning of JSF2. And one of the main things that we worked with with the other vendors is AJAX integration. So what we've done is we've standardized the whole AJAX pipeline from request to server processing to page update. And now that plumbing that was part of IceFaces, say, 1.8 and even IceFaces 1.0 is built right into GSF2. So that makes it much more easily easy for us to implement IceFaces on top of GSF. Interoperability has improved in a lot of ways with IceFaces 2 and GSF2. As part of standardizing the GSF pipeline, we've improved interoperability between the different component suites. For instance, you could use third-party components with IceFaces now that are AJAX components in a way that you couldn't before. As well, the MyFaces release has really improved with the 2.0 version, and now we're looking forward to supporting both MyFaces 2.0 and the Mohara 2.0 implementations with IceFaces. Regarding uh, uh, components in JSF, obviously uh, the 2.0 uh, component strategy is important as well, so there's a number of aspects there that uh, are important to understand. First of all, the standard JSF components with the IceFaces framework are automatically AJAXified, so so you can use standard JSF components, and you're going to get uh, and, you know smooth uh, uh, smooth screen updates and whatnot without having to do anything. Just to use standard IceFaces capabilities. Um, we also have uh, our compatibility layer, so all of our 1.x components we is available to uh, uh, to IceFaces 2.0 developers, so this means that you can obviously migrate um, applications forward from uh, from 1.8 and earlier. And finally, uh, and most importantly, uh, we have a new component suite designed specifically to, to run in the 2.0 environment, take advantage uh, of, of the uh, 2.0 AJAX specification, as well as the existing uh, IceFaces AJAX bridge, so, so that, uh, that component suite uh, will be coming out with a lot of, uh, of new high-end components over over the next uh, few releases of the uh, of the framework, uh, and we should see a lot of improvements in performance, uh, um, capabilities, as well as things like increased accessibility. Uh, all of those things being important to uh, to uh, the component suite. My favorite feature in IceFaces 2.0 is still AJAX Push. It's a revolutionary way to build collaborative applications over what we have in, say, Web 1.0 or even in a lot of the other AJAX frameworks. If you don't have push capability, 
you can't really bring about communication between different users. And of course, developing Ajax push applications is very easy in iSpaces. In iSpaces 2.0, we've really enhanced the push capability. We've actually completely re-architected it and split it out into its own library called IcePush. IcePush can be used with other frameworks if you want. You could use it with a plain old GSP app or Grails app, with even Wicked or um, GWT if you want. Of course, it is the foundation for Ajax Push in iSpaces 2.0. iSpaces and mobility. Well, we've been uh, we've been involved in in mobile applications for for several years now. Um, the iSpaces framework uh, is a server-centric architecture, and the iSpaces implementation uses a very lightweight client-side um, uh, Ajax bridge to achieve most of uh, most of what we do. So, so within the realm of rich internet applications, iSpaces represents one of the most uh, server-centric approaches and and therefore one of the most uh, uh, lightweight client implementations so it really naturally fits into into a mobile uh, uh, deployment where where you're going to have resource constrained devices uh, bandwidth requirements because of our direct to DOM rendering mechanism and it, it guaranteeing the minimum amount of page updates are sent over the wire we can really reduce the amount of traffic that's necessary to deliver uh, to deliver presentation changes to the device. So we've had quite a bit of success using iSpaces in mobile environments. Uh, we've shown with applications like WebMC that you can you can do multi-targeted applications that have a richer interface being delivered to the desktop and a more trimmed down interface being delivered to the mobile device, but all running from the same backend application. If you got new applications, or intending to do significant uh, upgrades to existing uh, deployments, then I would definitely recommend that you look at migrating to 2.0. Certainly, uh, our engineering team's attentions are turning more and more to 2.0, so that will be the, the vibrant framework going forward to work on. Um, if you're a new user, yeah, I would recommend that you, you jump right in at 2.0 and, and take advantage of the capabilities that uh, are available out of the box today with 2.0 and iSpaces 2.0 and uh, you know the stronger templating capabilities and composite component capabilities are going to get you uh, get you farther ahead faster if you, if you start right in with 2.0. iSpaces 2.0 is a clear and obvious upgrade over iSpaces 1.8. We've taken a lot of pains to make sure that you have backward compatibility. For instance, the iSpaces components that you've been using in iSpaces 1.8 are all available in iSpaces 2.0. As well, the GSF 2.0 has substantial backward compatibility to GSF 1.2, which you're probably using now. And we saw that uh, it was very evident that as we were working on iSpaces 2.0 that that backward compatibility was taken seriously. And for instance, if you take a look at the sample applications that we have in iSpaces 2.0, a lot of those could be ported in, say, an afternoon. So, of course, demo applications are smaller than what you have in your enterprise applications, but that gives you an idea of how strong the backward compatibility is. So, yes, absolutely, you should upgrade to benefit from partial state saving and composite components in GSF 2.0.